All right, hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 10 today, verses 3 to 6, and here comes a warning about yet another plague. Let's read it. Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow I will bring, here we go, you know, fanfare, locusts. I will bring locusts into your territory. They shall cover the surface of the land so that no one will be able to see the land. They will also eat the rest of what has escaped, what is left to you from the hail, and they will eat every tree which sprouts for you out of the field. Then your houses shall be filled and the houses of all your servants and the houses of all the Egyptians, something which neither your fathers nor your grandfathers have seen from the day that they came upon the earth until this day. And he turned and went out from Pharaoh. So Pharaoh was called on the carpet again. He has not let God's people go, and now God threatens a locust plague. And at the mention of locusts, Pharaoh's advisors must have turned pale. Pharaoh himself must have, must have trembled from head to toe, but I'm sure he is, was as stoic as he could be, you know, like, I'm unmoved by this. But it, this must have absolutely set the most extraordinary terror through Pharaoh's court the moment that the word locusts came out of Moses' mouth. Locust plagues had always been devastating. And now here was a threat of a locust plague, not just a random locust plague, but the, the, the literal plain God straight to your face telling you, I'm going to send locusts because you're violating the, the religious freedom of my people. You're oppressing my people. I'm going to send locusts to punish you and destroy everything that's left, okay? So this was an enormous, and yet again, each one of these is an escalation, right? Uh, the boils, the cattle, and, and each thing, and now and now here comes the, you know, the, the, the crops have been destroyed, most of the crops, and now uh, it's going to be locusts, which is going to eat just about everything else. Amazing escalation by the God of heaven and earth, and yeah. And when this is over then, Moses just turns around and goes. I mean, he doesn't wait to be dismissed. There's no discussion. Uh, there's no bargaining. Pharaoh's speechless. Uh, Moses and Aaron, they say their piece and turn on their heel and go out. They don't wait to be dismissed. This is, uh, this is extremely firm line by Moses. You don't do that. Nobody does that. Nobody just turns around and shows their back to Pharaoh and walks out. But at this point, where are we? You know, we're seven or eight plagues in. And Egypt is, uh, is in a pretty rickety state at this point. And, you know, opposition to God is ultimately self-destructive. And so here now we have this threat of the eighth plague. You know, you haven't let my people go? Guess what? Here's what's coming next. So when we set ourselves in opposition against God, we are setting ourselves up just to be uh, literally crunched. Why do we do such things as that? Pharaoh, you know, has dug a hole. He's dug it pretty deep. And now what's he going to do? Well, it looks, every indication we've had up till now, he's going to just dig the hole deeper. So let's see what happens tomorrow morning. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you back.